So anytime I start creating something, my goal in the end is to have a masterpiece. That's whether I'm creating a uh, oil painting, photographing somebody, writing a song, uh, and producing it. You know, it's all about the end result. Ah, such an amazing morning here at home in Connecticut. The past week it has been 72 degrees, low humidity, and just absolutely spectacular outside. So I've been getting up early in the mornings and just soaking in a little bit of the sunrise and capturing a little bit of our story here with the Lumix S1 since we're sheltering in place here at home. What's happening everybody? I hope everybody's doing well out there. I'm painting a little bit today, starting to add a little bit of color to this. Uh, the black and white sketch was really awesome. So once I started adding color, quite honestly, I had moments of regret because the, the sketch was so cool. But now it's starting to take shape and evolve and I'm glad, you know, it's, uh, it's funny how that is. These things um, evolve as they go and sometimes they shift and change and become something completely different by the time I'm done with them. Uh, it's a bunch of improvisation all going on at once here. Well, what's happening everybody? Welcome to the art studio today. We are here live for Make Music Day around the world and Make Music New Haven here, so welcome. My name is Charles Maring, and I am hanging with my wife Jennifer here too as well. Time to water the garden. We've got a really awesome garden planted this year. It's coming along really good, so this is part of my daily ritual here at home. Life's starting to feel a little bit like Groundhog's Day. Uh, the same routines day in and day out, so it's kind of tough to get out and vlog your life when you're really just sheltering at home and trying to do the right thing by everybody. But, you know, we try to make our life as artistic as possible, not just in the art that we create, but also through good food and uh, creating a really amazing garden and taking care of that garden and growing it. And truthfully, we utilize art in so many ways here at home from how we live to the creative spaces that we've built to allow us to have inspiration flowing at all times. So I'm gonna take you guys uh, back about, you know, for 15 years my wife and I lived in New York City. Oh, it was so much fun. Yeah, art, life, career, it's all one and the same to us. Oh my gosh, miss it, miss it like, I can't even tell you. Uh, but I've got some footage uh, of that area that we lived in West Chelsea. We lived at uh, 10th and 23rd for many years and uh, 11th and 30th for many years after that. And uh, yeah, I've got some cool animation of this part of the city. You wouldn't even recognize this part of the city any longer because uh, Hudson Yards has now taken over. Yeah, right? yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing how, you know, cities definitely change, art communities change and everything just kind of evolves. It does. Everything evolves and, uh, you know, we evolve with it. <laughs> <laughs> For better or worse, right? <laughs> All right, let's, just, let's dive in. Uh, some beautiful footage uh, I captured uh, and animated here to go along with it. Help tell the story a little bit. Chelsea train, I'm going up to Harlem, it's the hottest day, the streets are popping, there's no denying, let the work begin, maybe play all day, it's the weekend, but I gotta get paid to survive, so forgive me. This is our new rescue dog. Uh, we got about a year ago and she's just amazing. And one of the great things about being at home is I have been able to get out and really spend a lot of time with her playing in the yard. I've uh, been testing a new light, which is pretty cool. Let me see if I can share this with you without getting paint on me and everything else. Uh, this is a CLX-8 from Light and Motion that they sent to me. I'm gonna be doing a full review on this once I spend a little more time with it. Uh, it is 8,000 lumens. 
as you can see, remarkably bright. And it is 5,600 Kelvin temperature, which is great. You can swap out the head to a 3,200 Kelvin temperature head also for tungsten. It has multiple powers, um, outputs and brightnesses. It is water resistant and weather sealed, so you can actually take it out. And uh, Last night we were out on a really kind of misty, almost raining night with this thing, doing some test shots with my wife just to see. The color on this is spot on at 5,600. Really impressed with that. Durability is there. You can add like shipping tools, beauty dishes, soft boxes, umbrellas. Yeah, so normally I would go with an HMI to do work at 5600K, but this gives me a battery powered scenario without a ballast, flicker free up to a thousand frames a second for slow mo, which is mind blowing. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. Only got one life. And I'm just a man. And I'm trying hard to get by But I barely have a plan I'm just holding on with all of my mind It was Make Music Day this week all around the world and Make Music New Haven reached out and offered me a little micro grant to do a live performance, live streaming on the internet, which was pretty cool. Make Music Day started in France in 1982 and has now grown to over 120 countries, over a thousand cities who celebrate music through live performances. So it was a fun thing to participate in and just a cool way to be able to share some of the video animation and songs that I write and how art and music go hand in hand. So forgive me. I'm a big fan of strobe photography, but continuous light definitely has its place, especially in situations where we're working with both video and still photography all in the same project. And so I wanted to test out the Stella light to see if it was bright enough to give me a beautiful catch light in the eyes in these kind of late afternoon, early evening photo shoots that I do, and most certainly it does. And I'm trying hard to get her a better light. One of the fun parts about continuous light is that it's what you see is what you get. And for stills, you can bring it in close and then, if you need to, remove it later in Photoshop. Hope she'll forgive me. As much as we love and miss the city, you know, home is what you make it. It's what you put into it. And so we've somehow worked hard to create a little paradise here in Connecticut where we can work from. And, and this has been an equally amazing adventure. And so we just try to stay open-minded to all the possibilities that life could bring us and all the adventures that are ahead of us. Who knows what's next? Who knows what else life is gonna bring? I'm also excited to announce Professional Photographers of America asked me to speak at Imaging USA 2021 in Texas uh, on the topic of fine art and photography. So I'm excited about that because if you subscribe to our channel, you know that I have evolved immensely over the past five years or so into so many genres and everything and we're really reaping the rewards of that motion and I've learned to see so much differently by applying what I've learned as a painter, even by applying a lot of what I've been doing musically as well uh, and creating video animation for my music videos. But I like to leave a lot of opportunity up for these beautiful realizations that I find along the way. And so one of the things I'll do when I'm painting, I mentioned last time, is I'll take the back of a brush and every time I add a layer of oil, I'll actually scrape the painting randomly in that area. Even when I add not just the base layer, but all these little sections of color. And the reason being is it's gonna give more lift. And as I build layer after layer of oil, it builds this beautiful impasto effect to things. And it also leaves me open to opportunities for improvisation, like I do in music, like I do in photography as well. Improvisation. That's the art. That's the art of living. 
We're a creative couple, and we really don't know what the future holds. Oh, God, forgive me. But you can bet, no matter where we go or wherever we wind up, creativity will be at the forefront of the way we live and the way we love. Go behind the scenes via our vlog, but also learn from us via tech talks, tutorials, and reviews from the perspective of two full-time artists at work.